everybody. Thank you so much for joining me and Ms. Ruth, who is excitedly checking out yet another fall display from Strong Style Fitness. Always throwing in some fun stuff. If you look hard enough, you'll see some dog toys that are fall themed. Yep, she's checking it all out. She knows something of hers is, is in this mix. So. <laughs> Well, good morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I don't want to delay us too much because our workout on the timer is right at 50 minutes, so I want to keep the topping as short as I can, but there shouldn't be too much needed. So what we are doing today, you are only going to need two things, and you actually have the option to make this a completely equipment-free workout if you want. So all you're going to need, yoga mat, floor support, you do need that. Whatever it is that makes you comfy, cozy in the floor. Otherwise, you can be completely equipment free with one exercise modification and I'll show you that when we get there. Or you can bring a kettlebell if you have it. So if you're like, what the heck's a kettlebell? Chances are you don't have one if you're saying that, but kettlebell. Kettlebell, this one's a little light for me for what we're gonna do. So I'm not going to use a kettlebell and I'm just gonna take the option of using one heavy weight. So if you wanna do a little bit of equipment with this workout, kettlebell or one heavy weight, Otherwise, I'll just show you a different exercise and you'll be totally equipment free. So what we are up to today, we're going to take one more trip on the Tabata train this morning. Um, I'll keep throwing them into the workouts because I think you guys like them, but I won't make it one of two for weeks in a row like I have lately. I just wanted to give you a little more of what you love and give you some options to go back to if you're working out outside of live with me. So Tabata workout, we're going to get hot, we're going to get sweaty, we're going to get breathy. That's what happens. We are working in three 15-minute circuits. We'll have an upper body, or I'm sorry, have a lower body, an upper body, and a core circuit. Now, all of these are working with some cardio inspiration. So they're going to be strength building, but with cardio included. So two for one workout, right? We get the heart rate up, we get sweaty. We also get to do some body weight strength building. So best of both worlds. Three 15 minute segments. Within that 15 minute segment, we're gonna do five exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So, timer is gonna tell us what to do. You don't have to remember any of that. Just follow me, follow the timer. The good news is, is that, you know, it's five exercises. We'll go through it three times. So, you're only doing 40 seconds and you're only gonna do it three times. So, if there's something super challenging to you or you just hate it, I mean, let's face it, we all have exercises we just hate. Uh, no matter how good we get at them, we still hate them, mountain climbers. So, only 40 seconds, only three times. So that's what's great about these workouts. Again, best of both worlds, cardio and strength, and it moves super fast. This 50 minutes is gonna go by like nothing. Like you will blink and it will be over. Except you'll have a lot of sweat in those blinks. <laughs> so um, that pretty much covers everything. We'll take a three minute break between each 15 minute segment. So that's plenty of time to catch your breath, Wipe your sweat, get your water. Um, I just ask that you don't let yourself get cold. Chances are you're not going to uh, from working 15 minutes at a fast pace like we're going to. Chances are in that three minutes you're not going to get cold. But just in case, just notice if your heart rate's coming down to flat line, if you're starting to feel room temperature, not warm, then I want you to march, jog in place, go up and down the stairs in your house, something. Just to keep yourself on a simmer, you don't want to come completely off the heat. And then just the last things, um, again, um, one thing specific to this workout, just don't panic. Um, if you are new to working out, new to cardio, um, don't panic. If you get super breathy, super out of breath, heart rate super high, now obviously there's the danger zone, so pay attention to that. But otherwise, if you're just like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm, just, I'm working really hard and it's something you're not used to, don't put panic on top of that you are fine. If your heart rate escalates out of control and you don't feel fine, just slow it down, do some laps around your house, get yourself back to comfortable. All right, so my last couple notes as always, there's no music, so add whatever music you want. I would love to hear what you're listening to. Let me know. Um, modify if needed. I will definitely tell you modifications as we go along, but if I don't cover something or if you have questions and you're working out live, just shoot me a message. I check between each 15 minute segment, so I'll pop in um, just to see how everybody's doing and make sure that the video is still going. Another important thing, because I can't see it from here. And then um, just the last two things I always ask, please share these workouts, share this page, brag on yourself, share what you're doing. 
encourage other people. You know, we encourage people to fitness in a positive way, not by making them feel bad about themselves, but by being great examples. So show off what we are doing here. And lastly, if you do wish to donate any funds for these workouts, it is the only payment I receive. It is donation-based here um, with this branch of Strong Style Fitness. You can Venmo me at Strong Style Fit. Pay what you can. It's all appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I am going to grab a sip of water, check our video, make sure everything's running, make sure we don't have any questions before we get started, and then we're going to get to our lower body segment. So the one thing, just always be mindful of, this first trip through, you're not going to know what we're doing, right? I don't have time to kind of pre-coach you. I will give you as much coaching as I can in that 20 seconds. Just make sure that you don't stop and like wait for me to fully explain and just stand there and stare at the video while I'm explaining, make sure you at least start moving. So if we're doing a squat with a front kick and you're like, what, what, what? You know what a squat is, so at least start squatting and then add the next step when you're ready, okay? All right, so grab your water, get yourself set up. You do need your kettlebell or your heavy weight if you're going to be using equipment. Um, so go ahead and grab that. We'll get started in just a couple seconds. to start just because I haven't hit the timer yet so it's easy. We're going to do a squat with an alternating front kick. So we're going to have our normal squat, so just about hip width or a little bit wider. We're going to sit back into our squat and as we stand, we kick. So we stand, kick. Now I want your kick to not be a raquette kick, right? So we're not coming and kicking as high as we can. We are squatting and then we're going to do like a kickboxing kick. So we flex our foot and we push back, push. So it's a push away, like you're trying to kick something back, not like you're trying to kick a football in the air, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna reach over, hit the timer. I'm gonna say three, two, one, go. There's no start whistle, but there's a whistle for everything, excuse me, from here on out, okay? So I'm gonna go three, two, one. You get going, squat, alternating front kick. I'll be right back. All right, guys, three, two, one, let's work, 40 seconds, alternating, front kick squat. Now, here hands, you can do whatever you want. You guys know if you work out with me, I'm always like changing my hand positions unless I'm telling you to do something specific. But this one doesn't really matter. Wherever it feels good, put your hands. We got 10 seconds. Just make sure you're still sitting back into your squat. The, the kick, remember? Don't let the second part of the move break the first part of the move. All right, so our next two moves are gonna be new. They're front to back lunge. My front lunge, I'm gonna tell you, I'm probably gonna be moving a little slow to start. Um, front lunge is something that's been painful for me in my knees, so I'm kind of experimenting with it today for myself personally. So, we step up into a front lunge, back to the middle, to a back. Front, back. Now, if you're a rock star, you can step to the front, not touch down, step back to the back. I don't have room, I'm going to face this way. Front. Sorry guys, my uh, mat's getting thrown off here. There we go. So since I am experimenting with my front lunge ability, I'm gonna take the brief pause in the middle. There we go. So, I hope that made sense. And I was a little out of whack with my space, so again, we step to the front lunge. Same leg is doing the front and the back movement. This leg stays in place. You can slow and just kind of graze the ground as you switch from lunge to lunge, or you can stop in the middle. So we front lunge, you can stop, and then back lunge, or you can just pull it through. Either way. I said front lunge is something that has been painful in my knees for a long time. This is actually my first time doing a front lunge and probably for years, so I'm going to move a little slower and 
take that pause in the middle. You do whatever feels good for you. If you can move at a little faster pace, So we've got skaters. We did skaters in our last Tabata. We've done skaters a couple times. So that's where we do that big power skater move. And you have the option to jump or not jump. So I gotta say, I'm pretty excited. I was just front lunging. So far, no pain. All right. So skater, you can take big jumps or you can take little hops or you can just step touch behind. Your choice, I do want you to use arms. So you can either do both arms, kind of doing the same thing, or you can use like a runner arm. I think I'm doing, there we go. <laughs> it's like, I think that didn't go right. Alright, for the 
skaters coming up. I can't believe we were there already. Ah. See, it goes by so fast. Ah. I like to just kind of keep moving. You just stop. You can cause blood to pool. We're not stopping for long enough to cause really any serious problems. I just always think, if nothing else, it just feels better to keep moving a little bit than to just stop and stand still. Even if you're grabbing water, you can do a little march in place, right? Just make sure here, if you're hopping or jumping, that you're landing softly and you're landing into that squat, not landing stiff-legged and then squatting. It's a fluid, down into the squat, down into the squat. Yep, I'm breathing noisy. I want you to remember to breathe. All right, front to back lunge, left side. Coming on next. Whew. Ah. I think I made a good decision to wear my sweat catcher today. Ah. All right, let's go. Front lunge. Push up. Back lunge. So again, working like here. Push through the back of that foot. Now the working legs here. Push through that heel. Staying good. We're looking for a 90, 90. Okay. This makes me think of my kickboxing class. I used to use this in kickboxing a lot. We had to come up with exercises outside of just kickboxing. And you had to think of stuff where people didn't have to take their gloves off and on. So you couldn't really use equipment. All right, let's 
skaters coming up next. So yeah, you had to use minimal equipment because I would always throw in strength training with the kickboxing, but you had gloves on. So most of the time you couldn't take your gloves off and on in a timely manner. So I had to get real creative with no equipment exercises. Credit to my class members. They got real creative with how to use equipment with gloves on or how to get them off and on super quick. seconds. First 15 minutes are done. Legs are done. So we're going to upper body next. We don't need any equipment going forward. Yeah, no equipment either. I might have to take my little owl guy down. <laughs> so we got plenty of time for a break here. We're still at two and a half minutes. Let's catch your breath. Again, just keep some kind of, literally, just a little step back and forth. Just don't come to a dead stop. All right. I'm going to check for any comments, questions, and just keep it on your break. you got two more minutes. direction, but you can take it further if you want. Um, so that will be number one. We're going to do push-ups. We're going to do V-sit, pull-backs. I'll show you that when we get there. We're going to do a low plank saw, and we're going to do wall lat pulls. So I'll probably have to take our little owl down for that segment. So that's what we're working with. we got a minute. So everything is going to be in the floor except for the wall sit lat pulls. So we will come up for that. Um, I kind of did that on purpose. We do everything on the floor at once and then do the one standing at the end. So that's what we're working with. It's going to be a lot of shoulders, but we're also going to hit chest. We're going to hit the backs of our shoulders. We're going to hit every part of our shoulders. And we're going to hit our lats down here, the backs of our shoulders. So really the only things we won't be hitting directly with biceps, triceps. Everything else upper body, we're going to be hitting directly. So we've got 30 seconds. So go ahead and kind of get yourself down to the floor. I myself have not done plank walks. It's been a minute. So I might be a little clunky to get started. If you're going to modify, then you can be to your knees. And you just do the exact same thing. So from your knees, you'll just step out, step in. Step out, step in. Okay. So. 
We're up in our plank, and then we're going to step out and step in. Step out, step in. If you have more room than me, you can go several ways each direction. Again, just try to keep hips flat to the ground. Try not to pop tent up. You can also stagger as a modification, so you're not moving your hands and feet together. Whew. So that's an option too. Those are a lot. Um, a little tight in my hip flexors too, to be honest. That's stepping apart. I feel like that's why it was so clunky. But it's a great one. It's just one that's intense. It takes some practice. All right, push up. So we do these a lot. You know the deal. You can either do your full push up, the high, or drop your knees. Get our shoulders back and down, and we drop. Obviously, lots of core here, too. Shoulders. All right. We're going to bring it up. Put our wall sit, lap pulls. I think I've got enough room here. I move my little owl. just a little bit. So we're going to sit into our wall sit. We put our arms on the wall. And then we pull elbows down to pockets. So what you are trying to do is keep your hands on the wall. So you don't want to be out here. This is definitely one of those harder than it looks things. I can also see, and I told you guys I've been having trouble with uh, my left shoulder blade. I can't keep that hand on the wall. Ah. All right, bring it on up. We've got our plank walks next. Woo! Yeah, those lat wall pulls. Really want to keep that arm on the wall. All right, we got our plank walks. Plank it out, 
So you can step, this is your fullest version. Or you can stagger and do like a foot and a hand. Or you can come down to knees. with my hand place which just doesn't feel right today. <sighs> All right, we've got the V-sit pullbacks. So guys, if you're in your V-sit and you're doing really any version, but especially here, if you're feeling your low back, that means that you have went too far back and your, and your core isn't holding you at all. So sit tall. Engage that core, pelvic floor, up and in. We sit back, plug those elbows, plug your shoulders back, pull those elbows. Squeeze between the shoulder blade. So while you're here, really think about that lower belly, up and in. Especially if you're feeling a lot of burning in your hips, like your inner. Really use that lower belly to pull. Always modify if it's too intense. All right, low plank saw. Woo -wee. I am sweating. So when you're in your low plank, ideally you've got hands at 11. If we're really tight in our chest, trying to open like that can be difficult. You can clasp hands in the middle if you need to, with this being your goal. Feel a big squeeze. Those muscles in your back. This is another inventive one for my kickboxing class. She didn't have to take gloves off. Woo! All right, round two is done. You'll also probably see lots of sweat angels. <laughs> From me, I can see my. Outline my sports bra there. Ah. All right, guys. Back to those walking planks. And it might help you 
helping me to too. It's definitely helping me to think the hand that's staying planted, that I'm pushing the floor away with it as I go to move the other hand. Gives you some extra energy. See my right staying pretty much down. My left is like mm -hmm. almost there, guys. Oh, all right. That three minutes is done. That 15 minutes. You got three minute break. I'm going to try to find the push pin I just lost so it doesn't end up in my shin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's going to be impossible at the moment. Ah. All right, well, hopefully it's somewhere safe. <laughs> ah. So you've got two and a half minutes. 
catch your breath, wipe your sweat. Oh. Oh. Whew. Get your water. Again, just keep yourself moving. Oh. We've got a core set coming up. Now we've already done a good little bit of core and that arm set. So we are doubling down. Oh. I will come back. I'm going to take a video, get water, all that good stuff. I'll come back and I'll kind of preview the core. And you might see me bumping around again trying to find my uh, push pin. <laughs> all right, guys, enjoy your break. Minute 45.
Should be aligned with your body. Woo! Goodness. All right, we've got bicycle crunches coming up next. Rue is here for moral support and for adorableness. All right, bicycle crunch, guys. Legs come up. Engage, flatten through that core. <laughs> and we rotate chest. Rotate. Remember, rotate that whole chest, guys. Don't just crank your shoulder over. Well, see, I'm not high off the ground. It is not a requirement to get high off the ground. I'm feeling insane and out of work through here without ever leaving the ground. All right, I come up into that plank. Now, if the elbow to elbow is too much, then just do knee to elbow like the slow climbers and don't do the other elbow. Or you can step in, step back, and then step to the other. So you're kind of taking a break and resetting in the middle. I'll show you what I mean. So you can. Just be here if you need to, or you can be here, step back, and then here, instead of going here to here, and then back. So you got a couple options. Alright, so 
we find leg lift. We lay back on our back. Breathe for a moment. <sighs> so we're going to support that lower back. You can make a little diamond. Below your tailbone. Roll those shoulders back and down. So again, full version, both feet. Drop them as low as you can and lift. Or you can modify single leg or knees. Wherever you are at, so make sure you've got that belly fully engaged. Low belly, pull it up and in. So we're working lots of low belly here. Perfect. All right, last, we've got those side ankle taps. Or if you need to support your head, just make sure, kind of get the feel for what that motion is, and then bring your hands up, support your back. Okay, flat, lift, reach. You can do it. You're already over halfway done with this 40 seconds. Underneath 
Give yourself a nice long neck. Make that diamond underneath your tailbone. Let's come up. Just have this little puppy face looming over my head. Hi. Are you helping? You are. Yes, you're helping us work out. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, Kisses. Thank you. <laughs> Loves the sweat. Check, make sure you're not straining up through your head. You want it nice and neutral. You don't want it dropping back behind you, just neutral, right in line with that shoulder and spine. Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. All donations, no matter how big or small, are 100% appreciated and welcomed. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you soon for another awesome workout. Bye, guys.